Makes it just so accurate, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's so good. But yeah, the scout is just really good. It's not great for close range at all. Holy. So hello gamers, today I'm going to be showing you the top 10 hardest guns to use in Phantom Forces. Also, please subscribe if you have not. Last time I reminded people, I got like 100 subs on the video, so just check if you're subscribed if you're liking my videos. But yeah, the 10th hardest gun to use in the game, in my opinion, is the Mosin Nagant. The Mosin is a bolt-action sniper rifle with 5 rounds. Everybody knows about this gun. It has high handling and everything, but if you're not using 8 mil, it cannot one-shot torso anywhere. Like, literally, you could be a foot away from a guy, hit him in the torso, it doesn't kill. It's one of like 2 snipers in- no, 3. It's the SVU, the Steyr Scout, and this are like the three in the game that cannot one-shot kill Torso by default, which is kind of unfortunate, but also kind of understandable because the Mosin is a very good gun. It's got very high velocity, it bolts really quick, and it can one-shot headshot at any range. And it also does 90 damage Torso, which is not too bad. But I'm going to be real in terms of easy to use guns, unless you're kind of camping with this gun, it's really kind of difficult to use because either you have to hit a follow-up shot with a bolt action, or you have to hit the head in close range, which is kind of interesting. Makes the gun more high risk, high reward, because if you're hitting your one taps, it bolts really fast, but if you're not, then it's kind of not even worth it to use this gun at all, so yeah. What? Okay, now at number 9, we have a carbine known as the KAC SRR. This is a very high rank gun, and it has 400 RPM, and does 59 to 42 damage. However, it's only got 6 rounds, and it has awful velocity. It has the same velocity as a 45 or like the MP5K. The drop on this gun is pretty insane, and also, it can be a 3-shot kill at range, and it only has 6 rounds, so you're gonna have to hit half of your shots, or you're gonna have to hit the head. And the problem with hitting the head, like I said, it has so much drop, that hitting headshots at range is pretty difficult with this gun. You can spam it in close range, but you still gotta hit two out of six shots, which means you have to have like 30% accuracy, which a lot of people, they don't got 30% accuracy, you know what I'm saying? This gun also has an absolutely atrocious reload, as you can see, it's like 4.2 seconds or something, which is pretty bad for six rounds, that can't one shot unless you hit the head, but it can one shot to the head at any range, and theoretically, it's basically a Mosin, but with 400 RPM, if you think about it, because one shot, headshot at any range. The problem is, it has much worse drops, lower reload time, doesn't do as great body damage, so it's basically basically like a Mosin that's kind of just more difficult to use, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, it fires faster, but you gotta be pretty accurate with it, and the recoil is not even just the best or anything. It's decent recoil, I'm not gonna lie, I'm using a skeleton grip and it's not too bad. The recovery speed is pretty good, so if you're tap firing it's not too bad. But if you're spamming this gun, say goodbye to any accuracy at range. So basically, this is a very high skill ceiling gun, but if you use it correctly, it can be kind of insane. In fact, it actually is possible to get a 100 kill game with this gun. Yeah, you can get 100 kills on a single game with this gun, it's, it's possible. Possible. It's kind of difficult, it's very difficult, but it's possible. It has been done, but next up, you have a DMR known as the SCAR SSR, which is kind of difficult to use, but it has a very difficult conversion known as the 6.5 millimeter conversion, which removes a ton of the two hit killing ability to the body and lowers your RPM. You're probably like, what's the advantage? Well, it has a better headshot kill range. The gun already has a headshot kill range, and this just makes it a little bit better, which is not really that great considering all the downsides. Your body damage is going to be fine, it's going to be three hit at range, but it has 200 RPM, which is kind of slow. So if you're not hitting your headshots, this conversion is a direct downgrade. Yeah, it's just worse in like every way except velocity. And the gun has 3000 velocity by default. It's literally double the velocity of the KSC SRR. You don't need 300 more. The biggest thing here is just that the RPM is just slightly worse and it just screws up your muscle memory if you've used this gun at all before because it has 20 less RPM. You're going to accidentally like not be able to fire a second shot. So you're going to have to go for headshots. Yeah, go for one shot headshots and it's not too bad, but like this is a very difficult conversion version to use i'm not gonna lie like if you're good it's good but i'm not good and it's hard to use so yeah but then next up we have a gun known as the sl9 now the sl9 is pretty similar to the kse srr however if you really want to use this gun effectively you have to use marksman barrel and then it has 234 rpm and by default it has the same velocity as the kse srr and it just doesn't do quite as good damage if you really wanted to you could spam this gun i guess and not use marksman barrel but like marksman barrel is really the good thing about it, and that's why this gun is pretty difficult to use effectively. However, it has 10 rounds, and it can one-shot to the head at any range. It has some crazy drop, but it can one-shot headshot at any range, which makes it really good. I recommend this gun for medium to long range, because it's gonna be a two-shot kill to the torso in close range, and not really too much better than other DMRs that you could get, like the TCR is basically just this in close range. The TCR has better drop, it just does more damage, but if you're using this in very long range, and you're going for the one-shots, it's really 
pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. And it's just very similar to the KSC SRR. You could say that the KSC is actually more difficult to use, but just for me, I'd say, I don't know, it really just depends. But yeah, both of them are very high drop, very high skill ceiling guns that you really gotta go for the head. They're both really good though, not gonna lie. At number six, we have a gun known as the Mark 11. Now the Mark 11 has 500 Phantom, which has 1000 velocity, which is even worse than the SL9 and the KSC SRR. However, this isn't necessarily even what I'm talking about because this can one-shot kill torso and it's really good in close range. However, the default gun has a very interesting feature of if you fire it faster than its intended fire rate, it will actually slow down the RPM. So you have to be really, really good. You can't just click fast with this gun. Otherwise, it's just straight up gonna not work at all. However, if you know the correct CPS, as you can see, you can actually fire it pretty quick. The problem is even for me, and I have like 800 kills on the gun, sometimes I'm not even perfect with the clicks per second of this gun, which makes it pretty difficult to use very effectively. You can't just spam it and you can't just go for one shots because it doesn't one shot. There's also the fact that it can't two shot kill the limbs in close range. Basically, if you hit one torso shot and one limb shot, it will actually deal 99 damage. Yes, it doesn't deal enough damage to kill with one torso, one limb. So you have to hit two torsos in a row, which makes it a little bit annoying because sometimes you'll three shot in close range. So you have to be a little bit more accurate than normal. And it can actually two shot kill at any range if you hit one torso shot and one headshot. So you have to be pretty good. You have to hit a headshot and then a secondary torso shot, not a limb shot. Limb shots don't work. You gotta hit a torso shot after the headshot. So altogether, this makes this gun very difficult to use, but if you can use it correctly, this gun is absolutely insane. It is so good. Not really the best close range gun, but it's it's good in close range, I guess. It just works so well at range because the recoil, if you can use it correctly, makes it just so accurate. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's so good. At this point, I kind of just prefer the TCR over this, but I used to love this gun and I still think it's a great gun. I just don't use it quite quite as much as I used to, but it's a rank one gun, so check it out. Is it necessarily the best gun in the entire game? No, but it might be the best DMR in the game, and it's definitely one of the best semi-auto guns, you know? If you're looking for a really good tap fire gun with very high velocity and damage, this is really good, but you gotta be pretty good. My recommendation is get a metronome for about 280 BPM. Find it on YouTube, just look up 280 BPM metronome, and then play that in the background while you play for a little bit, and try to click at the same speed as the metronome, and it will actually make it so you can fire this gun at the correct RPM. It's kind of cool. Next up, we have a pistol known as the SAS 308. The SAS 308 is an amazingly bad pistol that has one round and a very slow reload time, but it can one shot to the head at any range. It has a conversion that will allow it to one tap, but that conversion is just absolutely abysmally bad. Don't ever use that conversion. It can't actually headshot kill any range, so it's just the GB 50, but way worse. However, the default ammo, you only got one shot, but you can one shot to the head and it's got pretty good velocity and it also does okay body damage. It's just really difficult to use because it's got one bullet, but it can't really kill to the body. So you can't really crutch it like the BFG or anything. You really got to hit your heads like that. You know, this isn't necessarily the worst gun in the entire game or anything, but like, it's definitely one of the worst guns. I don't see why people use it. I don't like it. Use the freaking Mark 11. But hey, if you like the gun, you can go ahead and use it. I know some people will actually defend this gun in the comments, and that's fine if you like the gun. I'm just saying it's not a very great gun. Okay, that's all I'm saying. But number four, we have a sniper rifle known as the Steyr Scout. Now the Steyr Scout is not actually the hardest gun to use in the game, but a lot of people did think that before. It is a bolt action that does absolutely abysmal damage with 5.56. It does 35 to 25. However, it can one shot kill to the head at any range. It does 35 to 25 damage, which means in close range, you might be able to kill with three shots, but at long range, it's going to be a four hit kill. Yes, it's going to require four shots from bolt action to kill. So don't use this unless you're going to hit your heads. That means worse damage than the KSC SRR. It shoots slower than it. However, it has the better velocity and it can headshot kill at any range as well. So if you go for the headshots, this gun is absolutely going to be possibly the best like sniper rifle in the entire game, like straight up. I have improved substantially with this gun since I actually started using it. I'm not going to say I'm great with this gun. If you want to be great with the gun, you got to use it for a while. It does have a torso killing conversion, but that's the no skill conversion. Version, you gotta be using 5.56 five, to get the maximum bad damage, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, the Scout is just really good. It's not great for close range at all. Holy. But if you're really good at hitting your headshots, this is arguably the best sniper in the game. It has more RPM with this conversion than the Wa 2000, but it also has absolutely no recoil, so you can actually just, you know, keep shooting it continuously. And if you're not hitting headshots, it does nothing though. At the number three spot, we have the GB22. Now the GB22, you could say it's a bit better than the SAS because it fires faster. However, it doesn't do any body damage, like at all. It does like 20 to 15. However, it can always one-shot 
kill to the head, but the velocity is also pretty trash. So you gotta account for drop and you gotta always hit your headshots. Otherwise, this gun is literally unusable, which makes this gun pretty fun to use. I'm not gonna lie. Like it sucks. It doesn't even reload super fast, like as fast as it should. It's gonna get a faster reload pretty soon, which is really nice. But like literally if a guy is like super damaged, it doesn't matter because it just doesn't do any damage. You know what I'm saying? Like hit marker at him again, hit marker at him again. Hit marker to, see it doesn't even basically the only way to use this is to go for headshots and the drop isn't even good and it's only got one round and it doesn't even reload super fast either so this is objectively going to be one of the most difficult guns in the entire game to use however in my opinion it isn't necessarily the most difficult and it's also secondary so like you can just use your primary weapon which is cool but like oh Please. But our final two guns are probably even more difficult to use. It is the gyrojet guns with the 12 millimeter rocket ammo type. 12 millimeter rockets are probably one of the worst conversions in the game. I think they're going to get a rework pretty soon, which is cool, but like... Yeah, they're just bad. Basically, they're a gyrojet ammo type that just removes all the point of using them, which is the damage, and gives them slightly better, I guess, velocity. But, like, literally, the damage on this gun is absolutely abysmally bad. It does 23 damage up close, so this can take 5 out of 7 shots at this RPM. Like, that's literally a second time to kill. You could probably shoot for an entire second and not kill a guy with this gun, which is just abysmally bad. Also, the drop is still trash. Now, 12mm rockets, you know, they seem on paper like they wouldn't be too bad. But the thing is, they just can't one-shot to the torso anymore. So what's the point of using this gun, you know? Because it's a one-shot to the head, which is cool and all. But, like, you don't want that you know you don't want the inability to one shot to the torso because then it just becomes your average weird dmr type gun it's just not good to ever use 12 mil rockets there's just not a lot of reason to this is number two it's trash don't use it but at number one we actually have the worst gun in the entire game as well as the hardest to use gun because it's so bad with this setup this is of course the ft300 and you're probably like okay this is a decent sniper rifle right however it has 22 lr and 22 lr that's a 35 to 25 damage gun basically a a scout 556 with one bullet and bad velocity but then we have the ammo type known as marksman kit which will make your reload time 5.3 seconds and you only get one bullet that does 25 damage so imagine a gb22 but imagine that gb22 suddenly out of nowhere just literally reload in five seconds instead of like 1.6 this gun is absolutely horrendous there are assault rifles that do better damage that guy must spend damaged a lot and yeah theoretically it is a usable gun but holy does it suck and the fact that it has a four shot kill and has a 5.3 second reload means it can actually take up to 20.9 seconds to kill a guy yeah if you hit all four shots to the body it's gonna take 20 seconds to kill a guy 20 second ttk that's not really that great you know like literally the xix it's a one shot to the torso this guy eight rounds it has 200 rpm what does this have like 12 rpm yeah it's 12 rpm floor rpm worse damage than the bfg worse velocity worse pen objectively this gun sucks even the default conversion that guy is using extended hitboxes what there's physically no way that guy hit me he wasn't aiming at me at all please don't ever use this setup unless you're going for a meme with it use it with a chainsaw grip it will literally become an unusable monstrosity it's really funny anybody who picks it up will just never get a kill with it but yeah if you guys did enjoy that is the top 10 hardest guns to use in phantom forces i don't recommend basically any of these guns except the scout probably best one here and the mark 11 use the mark 11 sl9 is also pretty good but like the other guns on this list there's a couple of good ones you know the kscsr is cool and all but like generally speaking hard to use guns are not really the best you know that's why most people are just using like automatic assault rifles but yeah comment your favorite of these guns down below make sure to like and subscribe comment the gun that you actually had the hardest time getting any kills with but yeah i will see you guys in the next one okay he's dead